Hi everybody, all my followers. Welcome to another video. Uh, this time a rather different video. Um, some time ago, someone asked me if I could take you through um, the, the the soldering and not just, but the, the tools I have around here. Um, so these guys is my uh, shed, my workshop, as I keep calling it. Um, I've been moaning lately that uh, the workshop was an absolutely mess, and it still is, although it's raining, uh, I can't really do any work on cars, although I have two cars on the driveway, uh, but uh, I can't really do nothing on them, so I've just decided to take a little bit to start to uh, um, tide, tide the, 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 the shed. Right, but these are look a little bit better with some more space to work around. I will take you through all these in a minute anyway. Uh, but uh, I'm going to show you the, um, the tools I have. So they are nothing fancy, they are nothing expensive. Uh, it's not like state of the art or anything like that. But uh, it's the tools I use for soldering to do uh, the works. Um, you've seen me you have seen me already doing so I have so right here at the top I have These three tools. I'm going to turn them all on so we can have a look and explore in them This one is a little bit noisy. I'll turn it off uh, Right at the end so as you can see it's a little bit noisy um, And um, I will start with this one so we can turn it off as soon as possible uh, this is a desoldering um, station and basically what it does, it goes, with, I can show you, so the top temperature is 280, the lowest one, I'm not, I don't think I ever test the lowest one, 160, so it goes from 160 Celsius degrees to 480 which is 896 Fahrenheit um, and basically what it is is, is a gun uh, it heats up the tip here it's not gonna focus isn't it no it's not it's not gonna focus uh, so it, it heats up the, the tip as you can see there's a little hole in the middle so that's how you desolder. Uh, when you press, there's a vacuum pump inside of this. It's all automatic. So we just put this into the pin we want to desolder. And as you press this, you're going to hear the pump kicking in. And obviously, the pump applies vacuum around here. At that point, the solder is going to be melted and it just sucks the solder into this area here. Uh, every now and then, you need to open this and get it cleaned, obviously. But very quick to the solder is 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 very is no good for SMD components like uh, uh, EPROMs and like you know um, car issues and stuff. It's not very good for that because it is all SMD uh, components. But uh, for anything else, is a is a quite good tool. I use it quite often. Uh, special to recover components like uh, resistors capacitors and stuff like that uh, so yeah so this is is one of the tools I have I'm gonna turn it off because it's it's quite quite loud um, <clears throat> so over here we have a um, hot hair station uh, it came with two tips this uh, really thin tip and it came with this bigger one so basically the way it works is you set the temperature is on 350 I think it goes up to 450 no 480 as well 480 and it goes from 100 to 480 so you can use these to uh, eat shrink uh, tubes for example the so 100 to 450 so you can use it for different appliance, uh, applications, not just to uh, solder or desolder something. So this is the the one I use to remove EPROMs, uh, chips and stuff like that. Because you just heat up the area and as it, as it starts to, to heat up, as soon as you feel 
die is, is ready to come off with some tweezers you just pull it out and to solder back on I usually use this one as well um, the way it works obviously is off at the moment as soon as you take it out from the stand from the, the holder it kicks in straight away okay here you can adjust how much hair you want to come out okay how quick you want hair to come out so I'm gonna take it off a little bit it only turns off when the, the temperature goes below so it heats quite quick and only when the temperature goes below 100 if I'm not mistaken as you can see it's going down now and it turns off but if I put on maximum you're gonna hear now if I reduce So less or more here. Quite useful. It's a very good tool. As you can see. Oh, by the way, this is a uh, uh, Dura tool. This is one of those Chinese uh, rework stations. Quite cheap. I have it for many years. Uh, never had an issue. Uh, for more years than all these tools, I have this uh, soldering iron, uh, temperature controlled. Uh, I don't even know the brand. I think it's a Chinese brand as well, but it's a, a ZD931. Um, if you want any reference, uh, it goes to 480 as well, if I'm not mistaken. No, 450 this one. So it heats up to 450. Uh, very good tool. Never had an issue with it. Um, is still the original tip never gave me any issues um, and yeah it's a very good tool if you do this kind of work as I do as you've seen me uh, as you see me doing uh, you need one of this uh, I used to have before this obviously one of those that you just plug and it heats up that pff, once you start to do jobs like this forget about that get rid of that get one of this um, there is obviously more expensive brands out there um, and different uh, uh, different makers different styles Ooh, it's up to you it's up to how much you want to spend uh, this one so far has been doing the job for me uh, so yeah so this is the one I have um, and to solder really is, is the only stuff I have uh, but I do have Obviously, I don't use this uh, sponge thing to clean the tip anymore uh, when I'm soldering. I use one of this uh, stuff. It's like a metal sponge thingy. Well, uh, it's easier to cl it cleans much better and obviously is always ready. I have a spare one somewhere. Oh, there it is. This is just like that uh, kitchen scourer, sort of, yeah. So this is a, a brand new one. That one's still quite good though. So, and um, and yeah. Uh, so that's it. Um, Flex. I actually need to buy some more. You can't really see the brand. I can't even remember. But it's, I just bought this this Flex long time ago, and uh, its its properties it start to change. Well, a long time ago. But um, I think next time I will not buy a so big. Uh, so big uh, uh, part of this because it starts to somehow lose a little bit of the properties of uh, of what it's supposed to do um, but it's still doing the job I'm not gonna get rid of it but next time I'll buy a smaller one definitely uh, then I have soldering wire okay this is a uh, 60% if I'm not mistaken yeah it's a uh, 60% alloy uh, this one is I use it for bigger jobs as you can see is a thicker wire um, uh, That's just gone really you can't really see how much it was, but I believe it's 60 as well. So this is really thin. This is a uh, mm, This even says the diameter But it's, it's really thin as you can see this is the one I use the most anyway um and then I have something else which is soldering paste that I use as well sometimes which is basically this which is basically a paste 
that you apply and then you just eat this paste and it is basically solder as you start to heat it starts to solder I have this um, the soldering uh, wick um, I buy this usually from eBay uh, this is the my last one actually the other one just finished not long ago but this is the one I use to remove solder and uh, in my bench the only next thing I have is my power supply that you might have seen a couple times um, this is the 60 volts model okay you can have this 30 volts or 60 volts as you're gonna see is go all the way up to 60 volts um, this was an absolutely bargain when I got it um, I think the guy that was selling it he didn't realize how much they still worth um, if you go now on eBay you're gonna see they still worth around 80 90 pounds or dollars um, and I got this for just over 25 so um, I was in need of one of these anyway so yeah so I have this is a variable a variable power supply obviously it goes all the way from uh, from zero volts pretty much all the way up to 60 volts as you've seen uh, I have a 12 volt power supply here as well 10 amps that I don't use that that much anymore but uh, but yeah, so this is pretty much what I have. Uh, for a long, long time, I've been trying to get hold of uh, a bench uh, multimeter. Um, I don't a scope a bench scope would also do, but I, I would do with a bench uh, multimeter. I've been looking for one for a long, long time. Uh, the one I've been looking, although nothing special, uh, is still about 120 pounds or something like that. And I've just it's just another thing you see that I kind of so when I, when I actually need to measure something I bring the the scope or I bring my uh, unity uh, multi uh, multimeter the handheld multimeter but for a long time I've been looking for a, for a bench one uh, I might get that one day uh, but yeah guys so this is what I use um, nothing special as I said uh, if you still have any questions that you want to put across, please feel free. Um, I will answer them to the best of my knowledge. And uh, and that's it, really, for this video. Uh, nothing special. I just hope you enjoy it. Uh, I will quick take you around the shop, uh, the workshop, the workshop, because um, um, I've, I've, as I said at the beginning of the video, I've took the day to actually uh, organize this a little bit more. Uh, which I'm gonna make I'm gonna straight after this I'm gonna make a video which you'll be watching that video uh, first anyway for the reasons that you will understand when you watch the video actually but yeah so when you we we, we walk around uh, we'll have an old telly I need to get rid of that it is he not very well organized a computer that was a project well it is a project for DLC torrents uh, it's just been sat in there um, then I have where I used to do computer repairs, uh, where the router is, not the router, the switch is where the internet comes in from the from the house, and then splits everywhere. Empty boxes, the printer that I, I don't really use no more. Uh, the computers that you are probably quite used to it, to see them. Then I have all the old boards at the top, where I take parts from, some other stuff in here. Uh, a, a kind of a bench in there with all sorts of in there. I'm just organizing everything so it looks a little bit. And uh, the door. And that's it. Nothing special, just showed a little bit of, uh, of my working area as well. That's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you still have any questions, please don't hesitate. Just put them across. Um, and uh, and uh, that's it. I just uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And like always, thank you so much for watching.